In today's video, we're going to see the five tips for you to know how to start training. Here's the intro. So, my first tip for you before you start training is to assess where you are. What I mean by this is assess your posture, assess if you have an injury, assess if you have pain, or how about your flexibility and mobility. Assess where is your starting point because that's going to guarantee that when you start training you already cover all those things and therefore you're not going to waste time improving your posture or you're not going to waste time improving your mobility or letting those things to be the ones that stop your progress. So, tip number one, assess where you are before you start your training. Tip number two, which type of training are you going to do? Are you going to join a gym? Are you going to do martial arts? This is also really important because if you know which type of training you're going to do, then that type of training with the goals that you have set for yourself, those two things should be balanced. If, let's say, you want to be a better runner and then you join a swimming pool, that doesn't make much sense. So ideally, the goal that you want to achieve with the type of training that you're going to do should be connected. Okay? That is tip number two. Tip number three how's your recovery and this is a big topic because your recovery is actually the most important thing for you to succeed at training whether it's you're going to the gym whether it's you're going to a martial arts club whether it's you're doing climbing swimming whatever it is how you recover from that training stimulus is what's going to keep you training is what's going to keep you in activity so assessing how's your recovery how much sleep are you getting at night? Is that a quality sleep? Do you feel rested in the morning? How do you feel that your body is moving? Are you willing to or do you want to go back to training mentally? Are you there for the next training session, for the next day? Are you there mentally and physically to follow the program that maybe you created for yourself or maybe that you're following someone else's program? So all those things are, term, are in terms with recovery, okay? So that's tip number three. Tip number four, how's your, your nutrition? And this is also something that is really important because let's say that you enjoy your occasional cheat meal and there's nothing wrong with it, but how about if you go three times a week to eat burgers or to eat pizza and then your nutrition is not supportive of the physical activity that you want to start doing. Then assessing how is your nutrition, trying to clean it up before you start training. Ideally, we're talking about the best possible scenario. Let's say that you don't deal with your nutrition before start training and then you start going to the gym, for example, and then you hit the gym, you hit the weights, and because your, your nutrition is not there, maybe because your recovery is not there, maybe you have mobility or flexibility problems, then that training that you're doing has to stop somehow or is going to be slowed down somehow because you still need to work on your, your nutrition, your recovery, and your posture, for example. So, assessing all these things before you start training is going to guarantee that you're going to waste the least amount of time once you start training. So, that's tip number four. Tip number five. How's your general energy? And what I mean by, by this is how much energy do you feel you have during your day? Do you feel that you start your day being energized because you have a good night's sleep or maybe you are those that really need their coffee because if not their engine doesn't start and maybe your energy gets all the way down here but as the day goes by you start feeling a little bit more energized or 
are you the one that have, is having those spikes that you're drinking way too much coffee on a daily basis so you have that caffeine rush but then also you have that big big crash so how much energy do you have it's also really important to know and to assess before you pick which type of training are you going to do because let's say that you know you are on the low side of energy so then you would need to be energized somehow so if you join to do some type of high intensity training and you didn't have much energy to begin with then those two things are not necessarily connected if you have high levels of energy and then you join a high intensity class then those two things are connected and that could be a really good for you and could have a really good outcome but if you don't have much energy to begin with then why not doing something that gives you energy why not joining a, uh, a yoga class why not going to have long walks in nature something that after doing an activity you feel that your body feels better that you have more energy and that could help you to then go to the other type of training whether it's martial arts rock climbing again whatever so being aware how much energy do you have is going to be also really important for you to be able to pick the best type of training for you at that specific moment or for you to have two things that one takes energy away and the other one recharges you for example again a high intensity class and then a yoga class so those two things balance, balance themselves and you can have a nice steady amount of energy during your day so those were my five tips for you to know how to start training and how to be the most efficient to waste the least amount of time and for you to prevent things like injuries or let's say uh, going back because your nutrition or your posture or your mobility if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to the channel that will really help me to keep growing the spider work training method and if you subscribe leave it on the comment section below saying hey Adrian I subscribe thank you very much so I can personally thank you for being one of my subscribers be sure also to check my online course to improve your posture posture up I'm gonna leave the link on the description below you can check it out it's going to be uh, live on March the 24th only 30 days to improve how you feel your posture how you feel your body and how you're moving around how you are connected with your own self thank you very much for being here stay tuned for the spider world training method news and hopefully I'll see you soon. See you next time.